I am truly pleased to introduce your 2021 student commencement speakers. Today's speakers were chosen through a highly selective and competitive process. This honor is given to one graduating undergraduate student and one graduating graduate student who over the course of their tenures at Pratt have earned the respect of the Pratt community for high achievement in both academic and co-curricular pursuits and who embody the ideals of responsible and creative professionalism. Undergraduate winners must have earned at least a 3.3 grade point average. Graduate winners must have earned at least a 3.5 GPA. Each graduating student at Pratt is outstanding. Selecting just two of all, to represent all of you is always a challenge. Shuye Snow Bay has already made a significant impact on the world. She came to the United States from China originally to work in the finance area. She was inspired to attend art school because of the impact that works of art have had on her. Snow is earning her second master's degree from Pratt in arts and cultural management. Her first degree is in design management. She credits Pratt with giving her the confidence and ability to be a leader. She has used that confidence to publish an innovative children's book through the United Nations called From My Window, Children at Home During COVID-19. She is planning to work in both the United States and China, serving as a bridge to promote socially conscious finance practices. It gives me great pleasure to welcome Zengi Ellen Ren and Shuye Snow Bay to the screen. I am confident that each of them will inspire and motivate you to use your Pratt and life experiences to go out into the world and make a difference. Thank you so much, Dr. Ayers, for the kind introduction. It's been quite a journey and I couldn't have imagined that I made this far without the support from my Pratt community. Distinguished guests, faculty and staff, members of the board of trustees, alumni, proud parents, and my fellow graduating class of 2021. Congratulations to us. We have made it to the finish line. I'm immensely grateful and honored to be here today. Dear friends, dear future leaders, in the past 15 months, we have been connected mostly through our tiny computer screens. These screens have become the windows we use to show each other what we are seeing and experiencing. There have been moments when we felt so lonely and disconnected. And now, as we are at this very special virtual commencement, I would like to invite you to take a breath and look out from your window. The breezes are blowing, clouds are moving. Looking through our separated windows, the world, our world, is still there, and we are deeply connected. This COVID year has not been an easy one, but it can be an opportunity that reconnects us with the beauty of our world and with each other. This is where I live, connect and reconnect. Every morning when I sit at my window, I see someone else appear in the window across from mine, right here. I find myself getting nervous on the days when he's not there. I don't know why or when I started to worry about my stranger friend. It just happened. Probably that's how relationships always happen. We see people and we begin to wonder about them. Studying arts and cultural management at Pratt has offered me a pair of magical glasses. I have started to wonder about many things. People have grown up with different and diverse cultural backgrounds. Lives that have so much to offer and voices that are unheard and unincluded. These voices may sound very quiet, but if we listen carefully, we will find that they're trying so hard to reach us and to teach us. All life is trying to reach and teach us, even glaciers like the majestic mighty Taku. Yes, Taku is this glacier that you're looking at. He's another stranger friend I have come to care so deeply about. This giant glacier haunting there for centuries, even when 250 glaciers around him had retreated. But now my mighty buddy had joined the rest in retreat due to climate change. Are we listening? If we listen carefully, the calling from afar could also be calling from within, within ourselves, and our communities. Dear friends, dear future leaders, COVID will pass, 
but our ability to see the light in the darkness is the gift of learning. This finish line is really a brand new chapter. As artists and designers, we shape our feelings and thoughts into creative forms. And those forms and stories have the power to connect us, to change our minds and to save our lives. If we can feel it, do it and be it, the world is not without hope. Let's go do that, reaching for hearts and souls with respect and caring. Speak up for the voiceless with our pens and brushes. Let's design the future we want to live in. We are now the leaders who can do that. Let's arrive there together. Thank you.